Hi there everyone, this is Mike from Sabrin and today I'm going to show you how to set up these Rocket XTRMQ dual SSD drives on a Mac to run it on RAID 0, RAID 1 and Sequential. So let's just jump into today's video. So once you have connected up your dual SSD into your Mac and made sure that you've powered it on using the power switch on the back, you'll see both the SSDs that you have installed in the dual SSD. Now, if you've got the 16 terabyte, it should look very similar to this one, but we're using for this example, the dual uh, tool free SSD enclosure. Now, if you have installed your own SSD and it's not showing up right over here, it may be because the format of that SSD has either not been initialized uh, and formatted to the correct format, or it's just not in the correct format. So to do this, all that we need to do is press Command and Space, and then type in Disk Utility, Enter, and then here we should see both of the external drives. Now, because both of mine are in the correct format, it's obviously showing. However, if it's not, this will look similar to this. So I'll just un unmount it as you can see, and it may be grayed out like this, and it's only sort of showing like so. So what you want to do is, is you want to click Erase right over here, and then you want to format it into APFS. Then click Erase once you've renamed it. And then as you can see in the corner, it's now in the correct format and we have both drives showing. So once you reach this stage, we are now ready to set up the dual SSDs. So what we wanna do is we wanna stay into disk utility, we wanna head to the top, head to file, and then go down to RAID Assistant. Now, when the new window has appeared, this will give us the option to set it either in RAID 0, RAID 1, or JBOD. Now, just to let you guys know, if you carry on with any one of these options, it will erase any of the data on those SSDs. So if you have any data on those SSDs that is valuable, then make sure to uh, recover it or back it up. So the first option is RAID 0, and this allows us to allocate evenly data across each of the physical disks. This is so that we can maximize speed and performance. Now this option is not mirrored or extended and is not fault tolerant. With RAID 1, RAID 1 is fault tolerant because it maintains a copy of the same data on both disks. The second option is RAID 1 and this is fault tolerant because it maintains a copy of the same data on both disks. The downside is that the storage space is halved. So whereas with RAID 0, you may see um, four terabytes of data if you have two two terabyte sticks. With RAID 1, what happens is that you're only going to get two terabytes of storage because the other two terabyte disk is actually being uh, used as a copy for the first two terabyte disk. And then we have the last option, which allows us to create a larger disk, but this does it in a slightly different way. So what it does is it writes data until the first disk is full, and then it starts writing writing data onto the second disk. Now this option cannot be mirrored, nor is it fault tolerant. So the two disks that I have installed are two two terabyte sticks, and I want to set it up in a RAID 1 option because the advantage of going for something like this is that it allows us to back up our data. Now, it doesn't ever replace a true backup. It just ensures that if one of the disks fail, then we have another disk to fall back on. So now we select RAID 1 and then we click on Next. Now the next option is the disk selection. So we want to firstly make sure that both of the SSDs are formatted and showing correctly over here, which it is. And then we want to make sure that the type is PCI Express. Then we want to check the boxes on both of them. And as it says over here, it says roll, and then it says roll slice, and then it says uh, raid slice, which is exactly what we want. So then we want to click next. And then we want to name the file. So I'm going to call this XTRMQ. 
Okay, and then it says the format. So this is Mac OS extended, which is absolutely fine. Now, because we're setting it as a, up as a RAID 1, as you can see, it's saying a capacity of two terabytes. That's because the other two terabytes is being used to uh, back up. Now, here it says the chunk size. So let me explain what chunk size is. And actually, there's a little bit of a description just over here. But the chunk size is, is the amount of data that it's accessing. So for example, for video, Video processing may access larger chunks of data, whereas with a database, it may access smaller chunks of data. So depending on how you're setting this up and what is it's and what's its intended purpose, you want to set the chunk size accordingly. So for me, I'm going to be using this for video processing. So I'm going to set the chunk size uh, to a slightly larger set, but I do use this for a little bit of uh, data processing. And then as it says here, we wanna say automatically rebuild. So we wanna make sure that box is ticked and then we wanna press next and then we wanna press create. And there you go. We have now created the RAID uh, disk. And if we have a look just over here, there you go. We have our RAID sets set over here. So XTRMQ, perfect. It's in Mac journaled, which is the format that we want. Awesome. And it tells us what drives we have. So that's absolutely brilliant. So if we click, uh, double click that, as you can see, we've got the drive working perfectly. So now that we've set up the RAID drive, let's say we don't want it in a RAID 1 setup and we actually want to change it to a different setup. To do to delete the setup that you have at the moment, you, what you want to do is is you want to go in, into disk utility. You want to go into RAID sets, select the drive that you have, and then what you want to do is is you want to click delete RAID. Then you want to click delete, and what this will do is it will delete the RAID setup, and then it will split out the drives as you see over here. And then what we can do is is we can go back to file, go back to RAID assistance. And then we can select, let's say this time, RAID 0. We want to click Next. Then we select the SSDs that we want. So we'll select both of these, like so. We want to click Next. And then this time, let's say we want to set it up as an APFS file. Let's name that again, XTRM uh, Q. Or Q. And then as you can see, because now we're setting this up as a RAID 0, this is set for speed. So we want maximum speed out of this drive. And the capacity is now at 4 terabytes instead of the 2. Let's set the chunk size to 64K and click Next. Click Create and done. We now have our drive just over here. And if we have a look, there you go. We have our 4 terabyte hard drive. Absolutely fine. And that is how you set up one of these drives for any of the configurations you need for your workflow. As you saw, it is super easy and Mac honestly have the right software to get this going. If you are a Windows user, by the way, we also have a tutorial on how to set these up for Windows as well. So we've done absolutely everything for you. We've even developed software on the Windows side. So how nice are we? Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, then please drop us a like. Also, comment down below on if you picked yourself up one of these and let us know how you use it. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Anyway, look after yourselves and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.